Well, I decided to get another welding ground clamp because from what all my readings is, one of the best ways you can improve the performance of your any welder is with a good ground clamp. And uh, I decided to go with a name brand. And I didn't know where the hell it was made. I was figuring it could be made in the USA. I didn't think it was China. It's made in Mexico. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. You can't win them all, right? So, uh, better than China. <laughs> so, anyway, um, this this clamp is 100, well, 98% copper. Um, I was also trying to do a lot of research before I bought one. I was thinking about getting a brass one. And I forget what this costs, like 30-something bucks or something delivered. Yeah, copper grounding clamp. And you can see it's got the serrated edges up here it's got a nice big uh, area where it makes contact and it's got a very strong spring and this one too is easier to install because you got the screw you can clamp down on and then you got this band you can crimp in to install it so I'm going to install it I'm not going to give a demonstration of the before and after of the welder I'll show you what clamp came on a welder I got a Hobart 125 a little one made in USA but uh, you know, I figured, you know, I'm going to try to get by with this little one. I'm not going to get the, the, the uh, Argon CO2 for it. I'm just going to use a high-quality flux. Um, so, <laughs> that's, I'm going to try to just get by just using, um, you know, simple, simple, simple Simon Says. Because I'm a home user. I'm not a freaking shop. I'm not a freaking professional. Um, and I could pretty much get by with flux welding. But I figured, you know, what the hell, why not give me an edge? Since I'm an amateur too, right? Why not? So let's dig out this welder and put this thing on here. And, and you'll know that Hobart comes with an extra clamp, uh, ground clamp, because actually this is a very critical part of when where you're welding. Um, spring on this compared to the spring on this, <laughs> major difference. Um, this is copper clad. So the copper clad helps a little bit, but you know, you're not getting as much. It's not a bad clamp though. I mean, they're not really giving you crap or anything, but uh, you know, they're trying to bring the price down. So, but you know, they recognize they give you an extra clamp. So you got to uncrimp this. So I just took the screwdriver to get that out. Loosen this bolt up, which I already did. And we'll get that out. And uh, this bolt here, if you look at it, um, you can just, you know, it's got like a ball on it. I could just thread it into that, instead of even into the wire itself, just into the, um, the end of that clamp right there. So that should that, that should be plenty of contact area. The main problem is getting through this clamp because it's, uh, you know, copper clad versus 100% copper, big difference. Big difference in the clamping, big difference in, you know, how much area is connected right here to versus these little jaws I mean these jaws these jaws are pretty you know it, it works I mean I didn't have a problem with it or anything like that but I'm saying uh and I'm not going to give you a demo because I'm probably not going to be able to tell you show that much of a difference especially being an, being an amateur welder but I just want to say if you're actually and this one open I just a 300 uh, amp one for a 125 welder so it should be plenty overkill and uh, uh yeah I can open that up pretty wide wider than this even so and you can see that when this opens up it's straighter so it'll hold on there better you know versus something like this if I had this wide open you know it would just it would just be on its little tips this thing would grab like a much bigger area that makes a difference it should make it it does make a difference according to what I read and like I said I'm not going to give you a demo because you know my welding is probably not gonna be able to tell the difference too much but as I get better it's gonna make a big difference and the fact that I got this I won't have to go use this one as a spare and find out I need that as a spare because this one's starting to wear out and I didn't realize it you know because the copper's getting as soon as that plating comes off the edge here you're steel on steel. This you just clean it every once in a while. It's 98% copper. And I have read that the copper is better than the brass. More money, but to me it's a forever component. I don't, this isn't gonna freaking break. 
You know, if the motherboard on this welder went bad, I could still use this on another welder. So that's the way I look at it. It's a forever component. Well, anyway, I installed it. And you can see it's such a tiny grind ground wire. Probably that'd be another thing to do, probably. Uh, but really, the clamp is the most essential thing. You know, whatever ground they put with this, it's only 125. But, you know, it might even work better with another ground. Who knows? Uh, but I used a little dielectric grease. So, just to keep any corrosion out of there. So, the connection's down there nice and tight. And um, I could not use the band clamp on it because it's made for see this is actually a clamp for a much bigger welder 300 amp uh, but you know it's overkill for this thing but to me I think it's a smart thing because I, this is a part that just isn't going to wear out pretty much I mean what can really go wrong with it not much it's a 98 percent copper um, don't think the spring will wear out you say for instance even this wore out the rivet I could fix that so uh, I put two cl I put two radiator clamps on here, and actually one of them went through, went around where the uh, metal crimping is, so that's even more grounded to the clamp itself. And then one ran around the rubber to secure the rubber where the the outside of the thing is, outside of the uh, wire is, and plus it cinched down really tight into here, so it should be making a far better uh, clamping force. Um, like I said, these jaws are, you notice, they're hard to open up. <laughs> We're spring in there. Yeah, they're going to, you can see there's a lot more surface area it grabs onto. So, you know, if I was grabbing onto this, it would really do the job. Of course, this wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't have it painted, but it would really do the job. So, uh, I think that's an important upgrade. So, I'll keep this other clamp in with the bag here. And, um... I forgot what the other wire I used. I know I used Forney wire was one of them. Forney, which is made in the USA. Um, and there's another one I made. Oh yeah, that, no, that's what it is. That's what I'm using. Yeah, Forney wire. Forney wire. That's what's in here. Uh, there was another one that was uh, made in Italy. It comes in a green container. It's a uh, very high quality flux wire. Now, I know the, the wires that come with um, Lincoln and Hobart very good too they're excellent but um, I heard that the Forney wire is probably about the best one you can go for flux uh, so like I don't want to bother with tanks man I'm not welding enough to be bothering with that shit and you know you can say that the wells look sloppier with yeah I mean I'm not a good welder right well, let me put it to you this way you know um, it's simple simple it's cheap this was only 330 bucks delivered it works fine it's gonna work even better now probably uh, and uh, I just like I said I just did this upgrade from researching not that I was dissatisfied with the welder but from researching so 98% uh, copper not a not a um, uh, brass one I got the top quality brand I figure what the hell because it's a part I, I can't see this part wearing out how's that part gonna wear out I think it's pretty much impossible right so might as well get the right shit right from the beginning some of this other stuff I could see wearing out but not this not that so I think that's a good upgrade for any welder and uh, the fact that they give you two clamps with the welder in the first place kind of tells you it's a weak point and that's I'm berating the issue but I'm telling you that um, you know it's I don't think it's, this is that commonly well known I mean I know that people know about the ground but they don't realize it's probably good to have an overkill clamp on there <laughs> like this like this so I'll be getting to going on this thing again